Well, we're if, done, right? Me and you have, have, have just been dicked to the fucking max having to do this fucking asinine. My battery's running out, making sure we're done. We're on our we're way done. home. We're done. We're on our way home. We're getting drunk. Right on. God, Bob. I feel like Johnny Carson with Freddie Cordova. This, you know, pissed at me. What does this mean? I just loaded that fucking truck right there. That one right there. All by myself. You record. This is Bob Hickey, live from New Zealand. It's our, um, I don't know, we've been here four or five days. We did a show last night. Uh, Scott Ritt, and Pete Callahan, and myself, we're going down to the beach. Uh, we've been trying to get some beer. We hadn't been able to find any beer in this country. Uh, I know it's all over the place. We just stopped at the wrong spots. This gentleman just told me where it was, but it's too late now because you've got champagne. He's got wine. I'm driving. I'm not drinking. But if Pete is getting So, Bobby, you're driving on the wrong side of the road. They drive on the wrong side of the road. No. wheel's on the wrong no. side. No. Yeah, the no shit. On the wrong side. Every time I want to turn, I turn on the the uh, windshield wipers. It's it's very hard to do. This is our Honda Rent a Car. We're having a real good time here, but it's been like an hour and a half now, and we're still not at the beach. It's like by the time we get there, it's going to be sunset. You know what I mean? Now for a panorama. Easy. How can you want chicken? You just had twenty dollars for breakfast at the hotel. I know these guys are getting a little clammy because I can hardly drive this so much on the wrong side. Now I'm trying to film and drive too. But hey, look at all this beautiful scenery, huh? Look at those mountains, huh? <laughs> Complaining? Would hey, you, you would have right. rather let's, stayed let's, at the bar with Cheeks? You, know? you would have rather stayed at the bar and talked to Cheeks for another six months, I Ugly suppose. Women huh? try harder. They treat you right. Jeez, man. Oh, I tried to do you a favor. I told you. Have big old titties. I did tell him the truth. You kind of got in the mood there yesterday when we were on the beach. It, it huh? was like a primary, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was. And um, to go along with yes, my we camera, saw something very interesting. I have to go along with my camera. I <laughs> Almost everybody gets this when they get a new camera. It's pretty much like just a social tradition. Yeah, you have to christen the camera, right? Yeah, pretty much. Uh huh. Bob Hickey, roving reporter. There's one of my favorite places in the world, right here. Place to have a falafel. You ever had a falafel, John? I've had them, but never in King's Cross. <laughs> Rosalind Davis turned me on to this place and falafels and I, the day after I fell in love with her. Did she break your heart? Uh, not so really. Yes. Yeah. This one. sex shops yeah. down here and I'm just gonna look at the new toys that just came out. I like the leather panties with the handcuffs attached to them. That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Steve and Buford after a show. They're just kind of talking. It's cool. Oh, he's not bad. He's single. That's pretty dangerous. Cause you never... No, you should, oh, don't worry. You're going don't to worry, she said. Oh, look, okay. How can I make this I know we should have gone that way. It's pretty exciting, but... It. Tell him about him. here, I'll tell him about turn to me so he can tell him about our model. Earth. Hi, I'm Daphne, and Selena and I are model Chad Chad Chad
go. I just did a pretty fucked up show. Last song was good. I thought it was a very good show. Can you please put that damn thing away? I'm trying to hold the meeting here. Whatever don't fit, whatever don't fit in the truck, you take his extra luggage. <laughs> Stack of pods. Checking in. Checking in. <laughs> I blew it on my edges ago. This is Mr. and Mrs. Crawley. <laughs> and don't forget, you are responsible for your own straps. I've been speaking to you for a long time. I'm not going to take a break. Let's stay friends. Okay, we got to go. Oh, there he is. Hey, it's all on film. Yes, sir. Hi. Oh, oh yes. A ride home. Here he is, Mr. Real Life Video, and the gentleman Bob Hickey. Hello, Captain Video. Did you enjoy Listen, your loadout tonight? The loadout tonight was far and away one of the most satisfying loadouts I've ever participated Since in. Since we just in did it in our on pay, put that have... thing on my fucking nose one more time. I'm gonna kill you. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, that's right, that's correct. Texas. This is us. Come on, Scotty! Okay, 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 okay. Last but not least, God died. Shower curtain should be real. Can I tell me? I've been up all night. There's Andy reading. Here's our luggage. Slobby call. What? Quala luggage. Let's see. Where's my stuff? Let's see. One of those. Let's see. Well, maybe. It's, well, maybe. Oh, that blue one right there is mine. You can tell these guys. Hi there. Why, hey, Jeff. And welcome to another loadout. This one's from a hotel. You might be saying to yourself, Jeff, how can all that luggage fit in this truck? Well, we're going to find out, Bob. That's why we're here today. Let's take a look inside, shall we? We shall. Well, we're not actually going to have to put this stuff in there, are oh, we? Oh, I yet? don't think so. I don't think so. But, um... Oh, uh, it doesn't no. look too promising. Certainly no, doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't. Now, I bet they put all the soft-sided stuff in the bottom and all the hard stuff in the top. Wouldn't that make sense, Bob? I don't know, but since we're on the other side of the world, maybe maybe it does make sense. Well, then they probably put the hard stuff on one side and the soft stuff on the other side. Mm. Which way does your toilet go? 
all uh, down mostly. Um, good, good day, mate. No, stuff. I'm well. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do more line. Start with a little one. Yeah, so oh, then you work up and around. Oh, you know what I mean? Well, yes, we're down <laughs> under now. <laughs> I restrict you to one carry-on. If you have more, you may want to find somebody who doesn't have one. But they will make you check the second piece. <laughs> I don't know, I've just been told that one piece is... We are not going to worry about Morris. You know Morris makes me go about people's time and your bags down. Well, look who's late. It's like, see, look, zoom into this. It's like 4 after 11, and he's not here. How's your flight, Jim? Pretty good, Bob. Pretty good. Here we are, traveling down the lovely streets of Brisbane on the way to our hotel. And uh, we just got off the plane. It's a beautiful flight. The weather seems to be... Bob, how about a little shot of the A balmy 90 degrees here. And uh, looking forward to our stay. All right. We'll see you later then. See you. This is my room. This was pretty good one for us. Stayed here a couple of days. I had some red wine last night, some macadamia nuts. At least it's got a proper uh, mini bar in it. Hello, Bobby. How How's show doing? number three go for you, Larry? It went fine, went real well. Lots of reverb, lots of echo, lots of quad, all the good stuff. Had some good time last night. We didn't really we? had a good time. I mean, the drums were unbelievable. I still wish you'd turn that tambourine back up again, though. That what? The tambourine. Oh, oh. You know, I'd have him. In fact, I'd have him play it that loud all the way through the song. <laughs> no shit. And that's just about the way I feel. Is the way that you know with this camera. Right out last night, man. It was a beautiful experience. Right? Kicked a, did we? Kick, kick, kick. We were out at motherfucker. Quick. Stereo supplies. Let's see what they got. Morning, Christoph. Morning, Bob. There you go. Yeah, but see, it says standby. Oh, now it's recording. Now it's recording. Yeah. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. What's her name, Bob? <laughs> now we've got like a two hour layover here in Sydney, Australia on our way somewhere else to Adelaide. And it's going to be real boring. So like, we're all on our way to the bar. It's probably not even... It's, is it too early to go to the bar, Christoph? No, never too early. Never too early. It's like late afternoon in my country now, it's okay. Oh! Oh! Now, one thing it has to is whatever you want to do. You want to do basic? You got to do, well, you want to do basic? You just touch the screen. It's like that thing makes, man. Let's try it. Let's see. Yeah, it's just with the anchovy button. Anchovy. You want to write a little name in there? See so if you have a little name in there? Yeah, go see. Three planes to fly. Five hundred miles. Hey, Bob Hicks, how about them plane changes? How are we doing with them, huh? We're doing how pretty doing? good, huh? Right. About six changes planes. Third plane today, folks. Oh, no. No. This is hard to believe. We have one more. It's a wind-up. What time is it now? Four o'clock. It's a day of travel. Here we are, once again in another city. Bye, thanks for your lovely hospitality. Hey? She was saluting at it. She wants to return it. Ah, I have, all my hands are full, man. Yeah. Well, here it is, late in first evening, Adelaide, sun's going down. We officially unpacked our gear from the truck and put it up here, same stuff as I always show you. And uh, there's Larry back over there somewhere. There's Larry. How you doing? Good to see you again. Yeah. There's Larry. We're gonna go have some dinner here in a little bit. And there's, they've got most of the uh, most of the speakers up. Looks like Dave's not up there. There's Michael Weisman walking around. So 
And we're just about done here for all we can do because we're not going to have power, so and I am kind of getting hungry, so. Well, there's no transportation back here for just a few minutes. So Larry Wallace and I are going to go in here to this tent and see what we can like yes. put in our stomach. Hey right, guys. Got some pastries over here, a little apples, something. It's hard to tell them black and white, I guarantee. It looks like some uh, young punk potatoes. That's whale ants, I believe. What's that? <laughs> There's the base band. Well, we had a great time on a trip. You know? Trip? What trip? Well, we went out to this island. It was called Morton Island. About 46 kilometers from... Uh, on your day off, on obviously. On day off, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, it was pretty cool. We went out on a seaplane, you know. Uh, for those who don't know what a seaplane is, you know, they land in water. That's With pl obvious. pontoons? With pontoons, you said. Yeah. Wow. It's an old Canadian plane. Made a lot of noise, a lot of fun. We chartered it, and um, so I meant we could come and go whenever we want. It was cool, and then we got over there, and we dove, and uh, snorkeled. In the ocean? In the ocean, yeah. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what else we do? Hobie cat. Water skied Hobie cat. Oh man! And there was women around. Was Peter Callahan up there working on laser. Yeah. What's that box do? I don't know, but I just hook it up every day. Are we red? <laughs> See the illustrious Phil Taylor. <laughs> having a delightful day as myself. Our work is done, we're having fun. Or at least resting. Yes. There's one of those Peterson strobe tuners. True text. Oh, Paul, 
he just spots one freeze just like a hunting dog. Oh. It's like on point. Yes, and like many other Pink Floyd shows, no other rain cloud except right over us. It's gonna what? It's gonna rain my tail. Look where that cloud goes. No, wouldn't do that, would it? Anytime. <laughs> what you got there, Larry? Well, this is the way that I load out. There's my good friend Bob Hickey. We load out. I eat sushi every night because Bob. And I just direct these guys. Load that there. Put that there. You know. Got you some yep. beer there. Got beer. This is beer. This is LA 2 to 1. Maki. Mahi. Machi Maki. This is a Machi Maki. This is, uh, uh, let's see, Evie. Evie, that's shrimp. Shrimp. This is a, I don't know what you say that in Japanese. No, I do. No, I do. Uh, um, no, I don't. <laughs> That's a raw oyster, Larry. That's a, uh, a carved up radish, which is real good. Now, I just did that for decoration. Now, what this is, this looks like something really funky. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, but he's going to try it anyway. Squid. <laughs> Mr. Hickey done prepared y'all some tea. I brought you beer too, Steve. Look now on these oysters, buddy. You got some beer too? Yeah. yeah. Beer. Want me to go get some more beer? California roll. Yeah, well, right. that's some machi machi right there. That's yellowtail. It's good. It's good. You need to put a little soy sauce in there. How come people always smell sushi you want? He mixes drums incredibly. He loads cases. Drives forklifts. There he goes. There he goes. He's got all of our, all of our audio cases. And if he drops it, it is all Carry over. Carry low, Bob. There he is, folks. <laughs> Take it easy, Bobby. Well, there you have it. The man, Steve Guest. Where the fuck is there he goes right over there, crawling away. He refers to the last six feet of the truck as a jigsaw puzzle that's a pain in the ass. I say, well, you did it the first night, and you did it the second night with less shit, okay? But it's still a pain in the ass, right? Look at his fucking hand, it got smashed. Must have been that last six feet of the truck. Wow. The other Where? hand, Dang. the last six feet Jerry, of the truck is a real pain. You broke that son of a bitch, didn't you? Yeah, I reckon. Oh, you oh, broke your fucking What'd you do, couple. Jerry? Uh, I feel so fucking what? See them, Bobby? It's like a bastard. Take a picture of that and play that back when you get back in the room. You, oh, man. you and Steve fun. both ought to take a picture of that hand right there. What, 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 what do you mean, Larry? I mean, take a oh, fucking picture of that hand. Cool. That could very well be yours, man. And then I would have to mix the drums and play the tape machines play all at the same time. Bob, that's why we're here today. We're here today. Let's do it. We're talking about things that, like, you know, you're talking about a little broke. It's sort of like being a little pregnant. How can you be a little broke or a little broke? You can't. That's the point. And that's why we're here today, to talk about that. Well, let's get out of here. Shall we? Should we shall. See you next time. One, two, 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 one, 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 two, two, check. Kind of got an echo coming from over there, doesn't it? Two, two, check. Two. Look at that Paul Efron cleaning up there, huh? Yeah, How about that guy? It's about time he did something with that big dildo there. That's really a wild looking rig he's got there. Yeah, it's a, kind of a homemade device. Clean up those mirrors so they'll be good and blinding for most folks tonight. Got one spotted. No, I don't. I don't know if the 
that girl's good looking or not? Up uh, there? Dogish. Depends how long it's been since you've been with a woman, whether she's a dog or not. Yeah. You know what I mean? About two to one lens. Let me go introduce you to her. Yeah. Her name's Maggie. Hey, get along, Gordy. Just fine, man. Getting a little bit of a sore throat, though. Sore throat. throat? Yeah. Eating too much. <laughs> no. Eating too much pussy? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, I mean, where's the guest, Mr. Ricky? He's out there. We're trying to get some vehicles and get the get out of Dodge. Give me that thing. Don't sit down get in the here. Get the out of here. Yeah. Sandwich, huh? Where do we get? better than a sandwich after a hard day's work. Ready? Right. We found those sandwiches here in a box. Yeah. Anyway. There's some sandwiches here. What? Steve. What? Are they any good? Yeah! What is? What? It, this one's turkey and, and stuff. It's sauces. Mm -hmm. In the collective, um. We're yeah. us and you're them. Well, here's some vans. We just gotta find someone to drive them. How's it going? Oh, yeah, not too bad. Enjoy the vacation. <laughs> what station are you listening to here? It's also light on price. Just SAFM. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? This is my room today, <laughs> but it looks like somebody else has already been sleeping in the three bears bed. Somebody else well, already had four. I just got through unloading all this gear. Doesn't look like that much fun, does it? Uh, and here's my mix platform, but you can see they hadn't quite finished doing it yet. So we're kind of in a, a hold, a standby, a stupor. Well. You can see what time it is. I just got back in from, not the gig, had left the gig very early. Just got back in from a couple of clubs. Last one I went to is the Metro. You can see my room's a wreck. There's what I just wore. Pretty drunk, I had three beers, got pretty drunk. I wish I could have taken this camera into the Metro because what a wild place that is. Band was up there, the band had a, um, what they call a food fight in a very expensive Italian restaurant. I'm sure it cost them quite a lot of money, but you know, when you're rich and you're bored, such things happen. And um, so I'm gonna go to bed now, and um, hey, we'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs>
a hood or bonnet, or this is a moat. But she says that's a mini moat. And moat means anything? Do you know, Larry? <laughs> oh, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> If you put an A on it, it would mean chocolate coffee. And this is our hotel. Hotel. Hey. We had a wonderful day at the beach today. You know, I'm sure you did too, but we went down to the beach. You know, it was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Can't tell you how beautiful it was. I just what would you do? Say, hang out? Well, we hung out. We had some few beers, you know. And uh, had some good food. Are y'all going to the food party? Are you? Okay, so we just got back from the uh, swimming party here. We're cruising dry. down the road. Dry. That's right. Uh, it was a party where uh, people Once were like uh, we think throwing uh, throwing shit in the water, throwing people in the water, right? Yeah. And, uh, and so at the end of the party, it's like a real nice barbecue and everything. Gilmore being the cool kid he is. Thank you very much indeed. Radios can one woman operate <laughs> once? Bobby, Woody, why don't you uh, introduce us? Girls. Interview, introduce us to you. Introduce us to your friends. I've, I've, I've already introduced my the camera to me. <laughs> really? If I do it again, I mess up the names, and I really won't get anything done. Let's take a closer look now, shall we? Candidate number one. This is Miranda's. This is Miranda's um, little sister. What do we have over here now, Bobby? Now that's Miranda. Miranda. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a star to me. Hello, Bobby Hickey. This is Tara. Can I just say something? Please. Rachel was in Vanity 6, and this is going on record. Rachel was Vanity. <laughs> I am Vanity. I'm taking those albums to my room alone, you know what I mean? Have you ever seen anything like this? <laughs> Whoa! And they're off to the races. Get close up on that. <laughs> Adagi. Yes, Adagi is classified. It's an English term for... Well, it's just the term dodgy, really, isn't it? Mm, it's she just sat a, with me all night. I mean, I thought she was pretty cool to she ate a hot dog. 7.30 lobby? Yeah. I'll be there. 7.30 lobby? 7.30 tomorrow night. <laughs> There's Paul Gensani trying to cut in on my girlfriend. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome once again to the half show get together. Here in Australia. Hello. How are you? Planet Earth. What is this? A 260, 280, 240? 280. And Marine is 280. It's been one of these in a long time. Whoa! God, she drives like a mad woman. Amanda, how many tickets have you had? Any? <laughs> Two, a lot? Just tell me that again about the best girls in the world. Well, this is the best girls in the world. <laughs> in Australia, right? Right. Yeah. I'd say that middle one was like $30,000. You can cry right here. Yo, Joe, that hurt your ear again?
don't. All I know is we were friends and the next day I was shut out. That's all I know. One minute I was the answer to your prayers, and five minutes later no one would give me the time of day. Suki could die, don't you understand that? Fitting <laughs> Bob. Fitting Bob that is still doing the same thing I was doing before. Man, I'll tell do. you what. I haven't even got started. I've been doing this for years. Yes. I'm afraid well, I'm a little worried about this tour. this front end of the tour here. They're out there and I'm they're, worried about this they're worried about not well. getting refueled. <laughs> Sorry guys, another night in the cross. That's never been your problem, Molly. <laughs> I'm refueled, I'm ready to go to Benny's right now. Still following you, Kelly. There's a garage down the bunkers. Yeah? Hey, he says he met McDonald's bag, there's a hand over there. She's queen of the swamp at the moment, folks. Oh, Taxi. We're gonna say <laughs> goodbye, Melbourne. So now we're all in about 25 cabs. We're going <laughs> to the airport. We got a flight in about 45 minutes. And don't you dare take more than one bag on that plane. <laughs> don't you dare leave your boarding you pass for behind. Well, the flight leaves at 7:45. 7:45. Yep. Ooh. So we should. Uh, so as they say in the movies, probably follow that car. Probably hop on top of it. No, be that car. Don't follow it. <laughs> yeah, driver. <laughs> One more episode. For your incidental? What the hell did you do, Ziggy? $694. Something new. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. He was sleeping. We're still working on Buford's chair. Yeah. See, he's standing up. He ain't exactly all that happy about it. We got a box of grills. Gotta fix that chair. Phil Taylor thought I ought to get another shot of this because. He wasn't here a few minutes ago when I took a picture of this. <laughs> so, that's Ziggy's projector there behind the large size screen. Backlit by the sun. Backlit by the sun. We will have to get this sunset going down here. There comes Jerry. This will be my last gig with Jerry. I think he's done a real fine job on the quad. Thank you, Bob. Much pleasure working with you, too. And, and as well. He's done a real fine job. Fucking workhorse motherfucker right there. Works for Jan. She set up the quad all this time. And I'm gonna go back here and flash my little pass and go back and go to the production. Excuse me. 
This is backstage area. We got a couple of trucks around here, huh? What what exactly is your gig, Paul? I've been going here for a half a year with you and I don't really know. You should know by now, Bob, that my role is very important as the backstage gynecologist. Yeah. And they're gonna come in at two o'clock tomorrow and put it all back together in a new configuration for Japan. Fly it all back up. And at Four o'clock in the afternoon, we're gonna come back in, and put the stage back in, so that at eleven o'clock tomorrow night, Mark Brickman can reprogram the show for Japan. And then at six a.m., we're gonna tear it all out again, send it over to the airport, and put it on pallets, and put it in a seven forty-seven, and send it to Japan. Please take me to the fucking hotel now. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Bob Hickey reporting from uh, uh, Tokyo Norica. Norica Airport in Tokyo. Uh, we have just got here. Um, it's much colder than it is in Perth, Australia, I'll say that. Uh, we've all been up all night. I've had a bit to drink. Uh, I'm ready for the hotel because in um, about uh, seven hours we got to load in for the show, you know what I mean? Sea traveling's fun.
So here we are inside uh, Butokan. and their effects. About 50 input. That's true. Oh, you got an easy time. <laughs> yeah, you only, you only sure. have half the microphones to deal with. Two, 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 two. Let me hear that thing again. Two, two. That thing sounds great. You got it. it does sound good, though. It's real smooth. What's that? What's that pedal do? What? That's a distortion. No, it's just the volume. volume and effect. That's just, uh, the effect is actually his stereo, all his echoes. So the volume is... There, and then if you put in a delay, you can bring it in. That's really hip, Phil. Marvelous, isn't it? It is indeed. That is. Action, camera, Bob Hickey, this is my fisherman's friend, Posh. <laughs> and what? <laughs> oh, this is hard to take. <laughs> What's that, John? John, we were talking amongst the cells. And <laughs> Everybody really likes it. Everyone's like, you know, we're just having a conversation. Everyone's here. They're everybody's favorite. So, you so we have a, just a face the wall here. We have a little gift for you. Bye, <laughs> son. Okay. Bye. Dueling cameras. Dueling cameras. We have the young and the old here. That's Matthew. What the heck is he doing out here? There's a report of American women down here. There is. These two people are Americans right here. No, I'm not uh, America. Uh, uh, you're, you're not Japanese, though, are you? <laughs> I don't think so. These two people, no, they're Canadian. Canadian. close enough. It's in the Northern Hemisphere anyway, huh? American. There's a real American girl. From, what, from where? South Africa. What is all this stuff, Mark? This is some kind of pizza joint. Mm, I don't know though. So Coca-Cola can relate to that. Jive coffee. Diggy's gonna try some. Jive. Diggy, you trying jive coffee? It's cold. What? Ah. Oh, he bought it out of this side. You bought the wrong side. Yeah, but. I have a jive. <laughs> 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 
Among the Japanese. What the hell's going on around here? I don't know. Humble, 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 humble. <laughs> this is better than drugs. But you know, Cheeks, there's something about. About like people on pony rides. Like, let's take a look at the front of the house. Why? Well, they seem to be down. They're all out there on pony rides. You know, so, so little ones. Each <laughs> hand, little tiny, tiny bags of rice. Takes about ten of them to get stacked up high enough so you can ride them. <laughs> I gotta go back to work, but I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now. Seven million hours on that. A million? I don't know. I got quite a few. About two dozen types. I probably got four left. Two hours of pop. We'll have some interesting things to look at. Well, I'm done now. Yay! Yay! There's Big Pete. Five hits. You loaded. My truck is loaded. So now it's time for me to get loaded. <laughs> I don't know why everyone wants to like put their face right in the camera. Drumhead. Okay. Bob Hickey going up the fucking going up the stairs. I'm sorry about my language on this thing. This little juice box fit in the hole next to the stretch board. How long is it? How long? Yeah, it will. Give me all three dimensions. Yes. Here we are. Steve Guest, Jeff Gordovaca, Bob Hickey at the closest thing to 7 Eleven we've ever seen here. And we're looking hey. for a snack. Well, come over here. Oh, we we want, come we right this way. <laughs> and we'll Hi. Um, here's some microwave stuff. Hey, <laughs> and that's why we're here. You know what I mean? Now, this is some very interesting mm -hmm. microwave mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out here in um, Tokyo, I thought 